and welcome back my dark means to my dark kingdom and you're probably wondering, uh, wondering where we are well we're at, at outside the gates of Zelda well almost and if you're wondering I and if you're wondering why I'm not playing the for honor uh, beta right now uh, I don't know what happened but I never got a code for the game I registered uh, the first time and it was supposed to send it to me on the day it was supposed to but it never got it and then uh, I tried to register it again the same day but it still didn't give me the code I don't know what happened there I don't know if anyone else has experienced this if you have please let me know in the comments if it but if you haven't then good job I hope you get it I hope you're enjoying the game uh, with well, the beta but don't worry I will get the game on Valentine's Day <laughs> ironic Considering how how all we are. Well, whatever. Basically, yeah, I will get the game and I will play it on this channel. And I will play it on the multiplayer as well. But for now, we're going to continue on with the main quest lines for both the Dragon. For both uh, the Dragonborn, not the Dragon Ball DLC. I mean for my characters be uh, becoming the uh, Dragon and going out to defeat the final boss of this game. And, uh, oh, who the hell? And also to finish the Civil War quest. But for now, we're going to be starting with the Civil War quest. And we're going to be doing this all the way to the end. And then we're going to go start with uh, Jürgen Wind Colors. Alright, let's do this. First, we need to get into Solitude. And he, oh, hey, the Khajiit. I not expect to see them here. And uh, if anyone... Oh, there's none of them. Okay. Oh, what the... Okay. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Yes, yes, I know. <sighs> Alright, let's get in. Position. Smarr, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us! You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, I thought. They're all hard for you. Rogvair, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Baker. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Liar! Story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Uh, then? Yes. On this day. I go to Sovereign Guard. And it's over. Some gate guard you are! I think I expected more. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. Let <laughs> me see. That... Need something? You wouldn't be a sellsword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. Ah, well that was a good... Been like this? Well, he's dead. Doesn't matter. He betrayed the Imperial Legion. I'm oh, a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of enemies. Oh, sorry about that. I ate something. And as if you wonder, if you can't remember from the first episode, if you watched that cringy episode, my god, that I have chosen the side of the Imperials. So right now we're going to be heading into the fortress and we're going to be joining them. And we're going to stop this rebellion in the name of the Empire. 
All right, let's go. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if I can remember. Okay, well, we got to find the dude. Okay, I'm going to cut him here, out here, and I'll see you when I bring him back. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Unless we have specific business, I'm not interested. If right. you must venture southwest, stay clear of Volska. Planning an attack on White Hunt. Place. He'd be insane to try. Live. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take White Run. Jarl Baldruf. Baldruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. <laughs> Alright. Ah. Let's talk to this it's dude. It's good we hold the reach. Were the rebels to gain control, the silver mines would give them coin to hire more thugs and expand their violence. Alright. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I... I was at Helgen. Right. Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Uh, I helped Hadvar escape. He said he vouched for me. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Yeah. See me? You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. Hakahana, anything you throw at me. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. What's a Fort Haragstad? The ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. I'm going alone? Oh, not so confident now, are we? Yes, this is a test. I don't think you're regular militia material. I want to see what you're capable of. You said that fort already yours. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. All right. Let's go take Sir. Fort Rockstar, whatever its name is. What? And once we join them, and this is where it's over. All right. I'm gonna cut out here and I'll bring it and I'll bring it to the fort. I don't know how long this is gonna be, so we might have uh, an extended mission. All right, see you when I get back. All right, guys, welcome back. 
We're here at the Fort Rockstock, and we're about to attack. All right, get ready. I don't know how sneaky we're gonna be, but we're gonna take every single person down. Uh, they might be weak for all I know. inside the fort. Come on guys, gather around. We're gonna annihilate every bandit in this fort. Let's go. Time to get lost. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh, that was easy. Skyrim. I'm almost at my weight limit. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. Oh, welcome back, guys. If Ulfric gets his hand on that crown, if you need potions, head over to Angeline's aromatics. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the Moot chose the king. We're backing Elisif. When the Moot meets, they'll do the sensible thing. Not everyone's agreed to the Moot. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. So what? Ulfric gets this crown and then suddenly he's High King? No, it's not as simple as that. But the Jagged Crown would be a potent symbol for his cause to rally around. But if we found it first... And we gave it to Elisif. In the absence of the moot, it would further legitimize her claim. Perhaps. I'm entrusting you with what resources I can spare. But I'm warning you, if this turns out to be a waste of time and men... It won't be a waste. Make sure you take the auxiliary here. You can send him back when you get there and find nothing but old bones and cobwebs. The Stone Fist's no fool. He's found the crown, but we'll get to it first. Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. In joining the Legion, you'll be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Something to report? Alright then. We need the Rift. Changed your mind? Decided you wanted to soldier for the Empire after all? Yes. I'm ready to take the oath. Well then, repeat after me. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Empire. Long live the Emperor. Long live the Empire. Welcome to the Imperial Legion, soldier. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Speak to Baron. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you outfitted. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legged Ricca has a special assignment for you. Yes. The Stone Fists, welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Sup? Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvin June. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Yeah, what's the Jagged Crown? A legendary crown, dating back to King Harald's time, or before. A powerful relic of a golden age, long since past. Legend has it that the crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. How we do? Uh, how do we know that uh, the crown is in Corvanjun? Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Leshen campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back to Skyrim and secretly buried with the crown. Knowledge of that location was lost in the Wars of Secession. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, 
He's likely found it. All right then. All right. Don't wait for me. Get to Corvin June as soon as you're ready. I'll meet you there. All right, got it. What? Unfortunately, guys. No, oh, hold on. This is gonna be epic. Uh, how am I supposed to do? This? They all have your orders. Rendezvous with the rest of the men outside Corvin June. Well, this is where I'm gonna end it. I know. I'm sorry. This video is short, but the next mission is going to be long, and it's gonna take me a while to finish that uh, mission because I gotta uh, freaking go in there. A lot of enemies. A lot of freaking store close soldiers. It's gonna take me a while. That's gonna take. It's gonna take me a while, but don't worry. I hope you enjoyed the fighting we did. It's just a little skirmish. Also, I'm kinda in a bad mood today because of what happened to For Honor. So I'm trying. So I'm not really in the mood right now to continue on with the storyline anyway. And don't worry, I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna uh, like uh, stay on this position. But don't worry. And also, if you're wondering if I'm getting President Evil Seven. Oh, I don't know. Alfred from oh. Windhelm soon enough, and when we do, I'll have his head on a plate. Ah, okay, thank you. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. But if you guys want me to, just let me know in the comments, and I'll play Resident Evil for you. Uh, heck, I was actually gonna play it so I can start getting to the Resident Evil series because it's like not even connected to the rest of them. But uh, the one thing I has, you have hate is. Rendezvous with the rest of the men outside Corvinger. Yes, thank you. Only problem is, is I I hate jump scares so much. I do. What's the problem is, is that I love scary sh shit and scary games and anything. I just the only thing I hate is the jump scares. That's the only thing I hate about them. But really, that's what I'm thrilled about. I love them too, which is sickening. But uh, but if you want me to, I can I can go and play it on my channel. Just let me know in the comments. Freak it and do whatever it takes. Actually, now that I think about it, if this video gets, uh, let's say, at least 10 likes, I will seriously go out and buy the game. It won't be immediate, but I will go and buy the game and play it on my channel. Uh, channel. Also, including For Honor. Alright? That'll be three games I'll be playing at the same time. But if only if you guys want me to. I was actually going to get it later on, but if you guys want me, okay. But for now, Thank you for joining me, my dark beings. So, oh bad that this was a short video, but don't worry. Next one time is going to be longer. All right. That's about it. Yeah. All right. My dark minions. Dismissed. <laughs>